All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a little while since my last video. <laughs> a lot of things have uh, been happening since uh, my last video, uh, not just in Pennsylvania, but worldwide. Um, let's go for a drive and uh, I'll discuss some of the things, at least uh, what I'm seeing, uh, not only in Pennsylvania, but also in uh, agriculture at the moment. So uh, let's uh, go for a drive. All right, guys, so uh, some quick updates just on the, on the farm here. Haven't started any field work yet. Uh, we've had a 73 degree day already, but we do have a one to three inches of snow coming. It's forecast for tomorrow. Um, it's uh, kind of been a weird weather pattern where it'll rain too much and things are too wet to get in the field. However, I will say that uh, this spring has been uh, a lot drier than other springs um, as far as the, uh, the fields. This time of year, usually it's mud and you can't even think of starting field work. Uh, a lot of guys have started already, uh, a lot of uh, tillage operations uh, taking advantage of the uh, current weather. And the hay fields have started to green up, uh, still a long way off yet though. All right. All right guys, so welcome back. Uh, it's not too bad today, 40 degrees, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, a lot of things have been happening, uh, not just in Pennsylvania, but all around the world uh, since my last video, like I said earlier. Um, you guys know that I like to keep this channel uh, completely on agriculture. I don't get into any of the family stuff or current events or politics or anything like that. But uh, when uh, current events affect agriculture, uh, it's time to uh, to uh, have a discussion here of what's, <laughs> what's all going on. Um, my uh, off-the-farm job is agriculture-related. Uh, as you know, Pennsylvania, uh, as of Monday, uh, which is uh, tomorrow, uh, is going to be shutting down all non-essential businesses uh, because of the uh, the virus that's been going around. You guys know, I'm sure everybody knows about it. Um, so some of my viewers are uh, located all around the world, even for a small YouTube channel. I did a video on this a while back, where everybody comes from, and I was amazed at how many different countries and uh, parts of the uh, United States my viewers are from so everybody's gonna have a different take on what's going on everybody's gonna have a uh, uh, be affected differently um, as far as Pennsylvania uh, it's it's starting to uh, increase the number of cases slowly here um, a lot of you guys are like I am you're rural but you are close enough to the major population centers that you could be affected. Uh, I'm sure some of my viewers are very rural and uh, probably don't uh, have any issues with uh, things that have been going on. Uh, was in the grocery store yesterday and I've never seen all the shelves cleared off like they were uh, yesterday. So um, it hasn't really affected day-to-day -day life for me on account of my job being ag-related and uh, listed as an essential uh, business, uh, life-sustaining business by the governor. So um, agriculture is uh, one of those things in any crisis that is vital. It's not uh, something like entertainment or uh, hospitality or uh, <laughs> It's one of them things that has to go no matter what. Uh, I say it at work all the time to people. Agriculture never takes a day off. It never takes a sick day. Uh, they can shut down the U.S. mail in a state of emergency or a bad snowstorm, but the milk truck driver still has to go. So, like I say, if, you're, <coughs> if you do work in agriculture, uh, you are definitely a vital part of... Uh, operations now in the midst of this crisis okay so how is the farm here affected by what's going on uh, not much i haven't seen much to uh to change anything with the farm uh, i had talked to my uh, spray dealers and we can still get uh, herbicides and fungicides and anything we need they're still making their deliveries they're still going um Nitrogen is the same deal. That's going to be here shortly. Uh, I have that ordered. Um, you guys know I already have manure here, so if I can't get nitrogen, we'll just have to make do with what we have and uh, use the manure that was delivered months ago over the winter. Um, seeds, same thing. I can get the seeds. We can, we can still make a go of this. Uh, now, I am just a very small farmer, <laughs> and uh, my contribution to the uh, markets is uh, beyond microscopic, but... Um, a lot of weird things are happening in ag right now. Uh, for one thing, 
the uh, corn I, i'm still not exactly sure what amount of corn we have on the market uh as far as our supply uh the east coast i know had a, a record setting year with record yields there's a lot of corn here in the east uh, there's not much corn coming in from the midwest like usually happens um, i'm not sure how the midwest fared out with the flooding uh, it was not a good year for you guys out there i understand um, but corn prices right now have dropped and a lot of it linked to the ethanol being down because fuel prices are down uh, i did take advantage of the uh, lower fuel prices and get the off-road fuel and uh, that's the first time I paid that little for diesel fuel for the farm, so definitely wanted to take advantage of the low prices. But uh, the, <laughs> the farmers here in the east uh, are just letting the grain in the bin right now uh, because the price is so poor. <laughs> so uh, people who have grain contracted are kind of filling their old contracts with a decent price and they're uh, just putting a hold on things until they find out what's going on but uh, my understanding is here at least in the east uh, grain is still plentiful all right so there's some other weird things i've been hearing and these aren't confirmed these might only be rumors as of right now uh, everything from an egg shortage uh, people are saying there's a shortage of eggs um which uh, when I was at the grocery store on Saturday, eggs were $7 a dozen, <laughs> $7 a dozen. So there's a little bit of gouging going on unless it is a true uh, egg shortage. Um, but the uh, layer houses here in Pennsylvania are plentiful. And uh, a lot of the uh, media reports that it's just a matter of getting it uh, to the store and uh, getting things where they need to go. Same with the food uh, distribution warehouses. I've been hearing a lot of reports that they're all full. It's just a matter of getting it uh, trucked to the stores, um, the distribution side of things. So I don't know. There's another rumor, too, that, again, isn't really uh, confirmed by anybody. It's just something I read uh, about uh, chickens and poultry being a carrier for this uh, coronavirus, um, being that it transmits from animals to humans. Uh, again, it's only a rumor, and that rumor started uh, over in Europe. I was reading this article, and uh, it has really hit Europe hard with their uh, poultry sales. They say it dropped off 50%. Uh, anybody from Europe that might have any insight into this, I think the last thing I read, USDA was uh, going to be doing some testing to see if that is true. Uh, if it is true, it won't be good for our farmers here, but uh, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> with with all the strange stuff going on right now um no, nobody nobody knows but uh i'm not letting it deter me from uh, eating poultry <laughs> but uh that that may not be the best thing for uh any farmer um being that the poultry indus industry is so massive and uh so much of our uh grain and stuff goes to uh support that industry so another strange thing and i there are probably aren't too many times that uh you have to do this but uh, I was given a letter by my employer to carry in my vehicle uh, in case we are under a total lockdown in a state of emergency uh, basically for the uh, law enforcement to let them know that I am a employee in a life sustaining business and I'm required to report to work it's a whole letter that we're supposed to carry with us along with our credentials so that's kind of interesting uh, it's something that doesn't happen all the time but uh, yeah. All right. So the big question is uh, PA Farms worried about all this and uh, not, <laughs> not really. Um, what I mainly am concerned about, uh, there's a, a saying that 80% of the things you worry about, you have no control over. So um, <laughs> I'm going to worry about the 20%, the things I can control, but I worry more for the uh, people in agriculture, uh, the people who are feeding America. Like I say, there shouldn't be, and don't don't set your watch by this, don't quote me, I, I might not have a total understanding on it right now. I'm just going off of what um, is being reported out there now, that uh, America at least, there's no danger of food shortages uh, at the moment. Um, the warehouses are full and uh, agriculture is still full speed ahead um, what I worry more is for the uh, the people in agriculture um, getting sick and uh, not being able to uh, continue uh, <laughs> um, 
Now, this uh, uh, sickness sounds minor for younger people. Again, I don't know. I'm just going off by what's reported. Um, it's just one of those things now where we, we don't really know. Um, but as far as me being completely worried about it, not, not especially. Um, just have to take the precautions like everybody else and uh, do our best to keep agriculture going. Um, there is reason uh, to worry when you go to the store and there's nothing there. <laughs> All the stores are empty. But uh, like I said, understanding that there, it's out there, it just has to get restocked. Um, Anybody, like I said, anybody that's watching that works in agriculture, uh, we, we can't shut down farming. We can't uh, take a sick day here and uh, have to do our best to keep uh, producing. Um, like I say, I don't produce that much here on this farm, um, but my off-the-farm job is an essential function to uh, agriculture and the food chain supply. So um, for anybody in that position, um, those are the people that... Uh, want to try to look out for a little bit and uh, keep food in the stores and in the warehouses and uh, on people's tables so anyway I guess the whole purpose behind this video and uh, why I wanted to do this today uh, it's just to encourage uh, mainly for encouragement uh, people in agriculture all you guys that farm all you guys that are related to farming um, just to uh, keep on going and uh, I have a lot of faith in the uh, American food supply the uh, the way things are done here um, and it may come to the point where we might have to be shipping food overseas I don't know if that's coming yet uh, again we just don't know there's too many uncertainties right now um, I think uh, like I said being that you can only 80% uh, of what you worry about you can't do anything about um, my goal at least is to uh, just keep on going and try to do the best every day that I can both in my off the farm job and here and uh, keep agriculture strong keep food in the stores and uh, just try to keep things going keep uh, business as usual so I, I, this will probably change a few things as far as how I do things uh, in the sense that we got to be watching our money a little bit that's one of the things uh, I think that's going to be important sticking to that budget and uh, watch and risk a little bit closer um, now the USDA did forecast a record uh, number of acres that is supposed to be going into production for the 2020 season I don't know if you guys saw that but the USDA reports on the corn and bean plantings is off the charts so that might come at the right time and uh, until we know more as far as what's going on here um, like I say, there's not much else we can do except for just keep on going. So, like I say, I know some of you guys probably aren't affected at all. Some people are affected worse. Um, Pennsylvania's just uh, kind of one of those states where it's, it's getting worse at the moment. But, uh, like I say, anybody in ag, um, like I say, my advice, just keep on going. And uh, we'll see what happens here. So, alright guys. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching. Hopefully in the next video I can uh, have more uh, optimism. But uh, until then, stay safe, stay, stay healthy, and uh, keep on going.